Tell me, your majesty, where do you come from? Are you ready for... Oh, boy. Are you guys ready for a super sad story? Okay, who am I now? I, I'm under the impression I am the king. Or I could have just literally defeated the video game right now. Or, I don't know, who am I? Who am I? That's an excellent question. It was already dark out when I awoke. What time is it? It must be past six. I feel like I had a report to you today. Which one was it? Classics or German? Mm. Yeah. You know what? School's hard. Screw it. I don't want to go out. Where did I go wrong? Was it when I took the gap year? Okay, so... The King is just a disenfranchised university student. You know something, King? I can relate to that. I, got, I did four years of uni, and you know what I got out of it? Not a lot, really. When I settled for a safety school? No, it must have been a long time before that. The days go by and I do nothing. I wrap myself up in blankets and never go outside. Yeah, oh, no, video game, you can't do this to me. You can't, no, 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 video game, I don't need, I don't need the internet knowing what my life is like right now, okay? Don't do this to me. I hate myself and I hate myself and night is here. Well, I'm gonna go party. Oh, no, I'm not. I sleep until morning, sleep until noon, doze through the evening and wake up at night. Is this the teacher? At first, I would write every day. I'm quite a journal. I'm not quite poetry, but I don't know. I just, I just wrote a lot of dirty words. Sometimes I invented you dirty words. I didn't hate writing, but one day even that was too much trouble. Oh, God, are we getting, like, into, like, the consciousness of the, of the, of the creator of this game? Is this, is this the, the creator of the game, like, pouring her own, uh, experiences into a small segment? My God, Kojima is God. And by that, I mean the author is the king. Hato, what's... What's her face? The girl, or whoever, who writes this series is the person who... Ah! Ah! My life was always boring. I never had friends. Nothing good ever happened to me. Get, get some video games, honestly. Whenever I would go outside, everybody else would sneer and laugh at me. They were all dicks. I'll get my revenge someday. The world turned its thorny, unkind back to me. You know what? If hardcore depression would end in you becoming a final boss, maybe it wouldn't be so bad. Unfortunately, it's not like that. It sucks. I can't do anything. I'm useless. I'm trash. I've never really taken care of myself. I'd be useless at work if I had a job. Okay, look. I'm just going to get this out there. I understand a lot of what this person is saying. I am not going to go further because I need everyone who watches this video to think that I'm a super cool person who is always awesome all the time. I mean, I am always awesome all the time. I'm just saying. I have no redeeming qualities. I think I would be better off dead. My bed is a cocoon protecting me. I want to go back to the shell I hatched from. I want to go back to when I was a yolk floating around in an egg so I can rot and die before I hatch. Yeah, yeah, you were a writer all right, weren't you? I want to die. I want to... Okay. Video game? No. No. I... No. Don't, don't do this to me, okay? I don't need this right now. Why do I have to live and study and work? Why do I have to deal with other people? Working hard has never gotten me anything. Okay, fine. You know what? Screw it. Screw it. Screw it, audience. We're going to talk. We're going to talk for a hot minute. This is what depression is like, okay? It sucks. It's just constantly beating you down and, you ev and you're always along the lines of, you know what? I'll get over it. I'll do better. But it just keeps getting worse. And it never, like, 100% goes away. Even when you get therapy, you know, therapy helps you deal with it. But it doesn't make it 100% go away. It's not, you know, it takes a lot. 
and it, it's it's sort of like it's something hardwired into your brain. So you're never gonna hundred percent get over it, and that sucks. You can get like you know, you can get better, and it does get better. It doesn't hundred percent go away, but it does get better. But otherwise, this is exactly what it's like. It's just every day, it just gets a tiny little bit worse. And then you go get help. What I'm saying is to you out there, you know, sometimes it's not bad to get help. Sometimes it's a good thing to get professional help or, you know, you know, make some friends. Well, I mean, I know it's hard to make friends. Believe me, I know it's hard to make new friends. I get that bit, okay? But, you know, if... You can rely on the friends you have, and I realize that sometimes, you know, friends can be dicks, sometimes friends grow up and then they go do their own thing, or they become huge slobbering dicks or whatever, you know. I realize. All I'm going to say is, and I want to wrap this up, because I'm not comfortable 100% talking about this, because I need you people to think I'm the coolest fucker in the world. I will just, you know, go out very shortly and say, it does get better. You can get help for it. Now let's now let's completely forget I ever said any of this and just assume that I am the coolest, not depressed person that you have ever heard of ever. Birds had it so much better decades ago. Who the shit is that? All right, listen, there's like a truck outside. You can probably hear it in the recording. Whatever, look, we'll deal with it, okay? Um, I'll just try and wrap this up as quickly as possible. You know, I'll try to get to a point that I'm like, you know what, that's a good point to end today. So we'll just do that, okay? Birds had it so much better decades ago. They were born, ate, flew, slept, and never had to think about any of this crap. I don't wanna die, but I don't have the courage. I don't like pain. I don't want to suffer. I don't want to help me. I really am not enjoying this extremely accurate depiction of depression right now, okay? It just wasn't. It was the most painful when I had sunk so deep into my depression that I could sink no further. I watched that Titanic movie and my god, James Cameron, what a bastard. A friend. My only friend. I was useless to myself and everyone else. But the gods showed kindness to me. Um. Sounds like you've been in contact with bloodborne gods. Your plumage is so nice. It's bright and cheerful, unlike mine. And it wasn't just our coloration. He was my opposite in every way. He was earnest and smart. He didn't mumble when he talked. But despite all that, he understood me more than anyone else in the world. Oh, it's gotta be hard for you. I know how it feels. It's painful. It's not your fault, mate. Society is always telling us to do this, do that. It's like we're held at gunpoint. I hate it all too, just like you, right? He alone understood me, and I alone understood him. We were all alone, the two of us in the world. The time we had together was the warmest and sweetest of my life. If only it would go on forever. And one day he said to me, Let's make it go on forever! And I was like, what? Come on, let's die together. It won't be scary if we're together. But I, no, I'm, are you serious? Are you serious, dude? Of course I am. I had never lied to you, have I? He was kind to me right until the end. One night he came home with a bag full of medicine. Jesus Christ, man. For a comedy game, this took a really, really dark turn, but it's like a smart dark turn medicine to wash us away without pain forever. Let's go somewhere far away. Somewhere where we're completely alone. Just the two of us. Where no one can bother us and no one will find us. We left on our final journey and took the medicine. Ugh. Ugh. Ugh, oh, God. Ugh. Okay, come on. Hold it together, Dag. It'll get funny again soon, okay? Oh, I'm tired of. Oh. What's in these pills? Are these happy pills? We should have done this a long time ago. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. This is. <sighs> Just like the end of the world, 
Time to say goodbye to this awful world together. I guess you're right. I was thinking it was about time I said goodbye to you. Oh, you dick! You dick! I bet I know exactly who was responsible for this too. I bet I know exactly who did this. Oh, Jesus Christ. Actually, I have two ideas for who it could be, but like, the one bird, and I think you know who the bird is too, stands out more than the other one, but it could be the other one. But I still have, well, I still have things I need to do in it. What? No, no, oh, come on. No, dude, dude, no. Ah, oh, you bastard. You didn't want to die. You're lame. What about all those times we listened to Death Grips together? <laughs> nah, mate. Nah, I'm in a prog rock more than that. Ugh. Why did you have to kill me, man? Come on. I thought we were bros! I thought we were cool! I never really wanted to... I never really did want to die. It wasn't me, it was... It was everyone else. It was everyone else's fault but mine! He's actually calling bloody... Society, of course. Call an ambulance! Come on! Are you kidding? I've had this plan for months. I was gonna steal your identity, man. Do you honestly... Yeah, screw you. really taking me out of the moment, man. I, ugh. Truck's gone. Maybe I'll keep going for a while. Christ! Video game? I'm gonna need some real comedic moments to bring me back out of this. This is a good segment, but Christ! You wished for death and I helped you to it. That is all there is to say. Oh, don't. Don't. Don't throw up. Don't. Oh, that's gross. Oh, you're gross. Dude, you're gross. Ew. The King's Picture Book. Okay. Okay. We're not done yet, but, you know, at least we finished with disturbingly accurate depression story. Once there was a poor little quail. One day, the quail was tricked by a bad bird and killed. A quail! by the way. So I'm almost certain that we definitely know who was responsible now. The quail was put onto the train through the night sky along with all the other birds who had died. Where is the train going? There must be a terrible place at the end of the line. Ah, come on. The quail was so scared and so afraid it thought its little heart would burst. But the train stopped for a little while. Apparently even galactic trains have to wait for signals. That sounds so stupid, honestly. The quail was too scared to stay on the train, so it bailed. It fucking bailed. There was a dark, dark moon there. There was nothing in it but a chair and a little candle. There was no one else there. The quail sat on the chair and cried. Why did this happen? Why did I trust anyone ever? If people are stupid. It was betrayed by its friend and forced onto a strange train. What would happen next? The quail thought and thought and made a station. Maybe if there's a station, someone will come by to play. The quail made a station and lit the candle and waited. Waited a billion, billion friggin' years. Turns out the afterlife isn't a very popular place to be. Time passed. Birds came. The dark room became a beautiful kingdom. The candle became a grand lighthouse. The chair became a royal throne. And the quail became the king. Those who come to the kingdom become one with the king, in a horrible gelatinous goop. The king is all, and all are the king. No one is hurt, and no one has any sad thoughts. Anyone who has a sad thought is immediately executed, for bumming out everyone else. Did you ever hear that Monty Python sketch? It was a pretty good sketch. The birds of the holiday star lived happily. Happily. Ever. After. How nice. How very nice. Happiness is here. Happiness. And nothing else. What about booze? No booze. No booze is bad. Oh, what? This is lame. Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! He's turning evil right now. 
Jesus, okay. The king thought, if everyone is one... You ruined it. You ruined it, thing. Christ. The king thought, if everyone is one, none will be afraid. So little by little, the king absorbed everyone on the holiday star. And now we are one. I don't get it. Wow, you're an insensitive fuck. He's lonely, so he wants friends. Not like you'd understand. He doesn't want his friends to quarrel, so he absorbs them all. That is a terrible idea. Can you imagine if every time I got into a fight with my friends, I would just eat them? Don't start jerking off, guy, in the comments. That's, no, that's a bad thing. Don't do that. You're quite a storyteller, your highness, to use a few hundred lines to express what I just did in three. How about, screw you. Ugh. In other words, this whole place is basically a cult for loneliness and crazy peer pressure. Just like high school, am I right? What's good about having everyone together, Mr. King? No one gets to play their own part! No, that's that's stupid. I eat, no, everyone, everyone, everyone will be me. If Okasan were here, he'd say something like, Everyone is different and everyone is good, Mr. King! And then he'd slap you. And that would be amazing. Get in here, have Okasan slap you, I'm gonna stick it on YouTube. Even now that you're the king, you're still just a small frightened quail. You ran and hid in your shell, and now you're safe in your own private kingdom. I suppose you are right. If everyone is one, no one gets hurt. But there's no one on this fake star but you, your majesty. As long as you stay here, you'll be alone. Okay, fine. I'm cool with that. Whatever. I don't need, I don't need friends. I don't need any of you. You're all lame. I bet you all main Reaper in Overwatch. King, I bet you main Reaper in Overwatch. Okay, it's true. I reap main Reaper in Overwatch. The king said, it is not the king's fault. The king was not the only one who wished for this. Hi? This isn't a picture book bit, is it? That's a real bit. Okay. All who came here accepted it gladly, even the ones like you who were angry at first. In two days, you will be the king's best friends. You are the ones who are wrong. It is you who are wrong, and definitely not me, because I am a cool and awesome king. You're not, not right. right. Oh, oh, Christ. This is taking a really different turn from everything I was expecting out of a boyfriend to be. This is like the opposite of what I thought. Oh, God, it's Ash. Oh, man, this is turning into Bloodborne really hard. The king and that king and this king and all these kings are so happy. But if you want to hurt the king and this king and that king, everyone has to be good on this star. If we are not one, then someone will surely hurt someone else. The king said, let us become happy together. I've rechecked everywhere I went, but I haven't seen any other doors. It's one hallway from start to finish. Looks like this path must be hidden too well for the naked eye to see. I certainly hope that, uh, Daggett and Nagaki and all the others are not trapped in some final boss Bloodborne shit right now. That would be just the worst. The last room should be where I'll find Professor Nagaki. Oh, wait, didn't he say? Ah, that sounds stupid. I'm not gonna i I'm not gonna say that name because I'm pretty sure he's just the teacher. Anyway, there should be a quail here somewhere, but he's been singled out for poor treatment. Do you really have to hide him away like this, your majesty? I mean what the hell? What did that king honestly do? Uh Oh god, it touched me, what is that? A voice echoes faintly in the dark corridor. One of the king's underlings? I don't see it anywhere. 
Fall asleep too. You goofed up, sir. Ah, can stay connect that long? Yes. Yes, ma. Once she and Naki Kazakaki is starting to show uh, non-brain activity. How did you get? How did you get in here? <laughs> I was so, so wasted with Nishika Kushi. I feel a little trapped. That was a terrible idea, sir. That was a terrible. Why would you think? Crass, whatever, just give me a message. He's probably falling into a coma. I'm trying to find him right now. But, it looks like the man behind all this is hidden him somewhere. I thought as much. I'm sorry, I put on the wrong voice, didn't I? <laughs> now that his brain activity is dropping, he may not be able to regain consciousness. Oh no, that's terrible. I guess I won't have any homework for the rest of the year. Oh well. You realize like, this is the end of the year and you weren't getting homework, right? Ah, crap, I wasted my opportunity. Meaning he alone is proceeding more rapidly into the disconnected man and body. Unfortunately, I'm going to administer psychotropics to you and Nanaki in 60 seconds. In small amounts. It would look brilliant if you fail the mission because I overdosed you. Don't put that on YouTube. I'm going to put it on YouTube. So my, so my job is to concentrate and find a professor while the high lasts. <laughs> oh, you're gonna get so high, mate. You should have about two minutes. Good luck. I think that was the worst performance I've ever put on. I don't know why I thought that would be a cool performance to put on. It really wasn't. It really wasn't. I'm sorry, everyone. Maybe I need... Maybe I need something... Maybe I need something, you know, to beef up my high after, you know, super realistic depression moment. Leon faded away like a puff of smoke. This isn't the first solo search and rescue I've had to do, but all the same, it is reassuring to see that unshakable cockatiel's face, even for just a minute. It's almost time. If the planisphere was right, and the path down to the last star should be between Sequoia and Beulah's rooms, how did I miss it? How did I miss it that first time? That magnificent artist did get rid of the clouds for us. It would be a waste if we didn't let any of the nice moonlight in here. The post should last two minutes. At least the area is pretty small. Let's hope that king can't beat me at my own game. So the officers are just willing to use illegal substances as the ground operatives? I can't believe it. You should have left me in on this. Ugh. Mm. We are like cogwheels. We serve as parts of a machine far larger and more important than ourselves. You should know it as well as I do. Unfortunately, I can't even begin to comprehend such groveling ideas. I am not here for the system. The system is here for me. Anyway, I administered the, the amounts you said your underling and the quail here. You're very lucky I had some spares on hand. Hmm, thanks. Oh god, I can't- why can't I make a fucking voice for this guy? It should be easy for me to just sit down, set a voice for this guy, but I can't. I'm a terrible actor, I'm sorry everyone. Hmm. I gotta get- He's off helicopter. Everyone is interrupting my Let's Play stuff today, okay? I'm trying to become famous on YouTube, and I don't need this right now. And now all we can do is brightly and massively present, prevent the victims' bodies from losing too much heat, and wait to see how everything turns out. Get the camera, boy. This is gonna be funny. The drugs acting on my physical body are having more of an effect on my dream consciousness than I expected. Every sensation deepens and expands. Oh, if only I can enter the state at will. You can, but don't. Don't tell the children at home that this is a good idea. 
terrible idea. Do not do this. I can see a crack in the wall. I hadn't noticed it before, but the light is seeping through. That must be the light from a bird's soul like the migrant I was talking about. The wall should be pretty fragile here. This is just like Sequoia's tea party. I'm gonna blow it up! We can't let you do that, Traveler. You were not even invited here. Please stop doing such terrible things. No, I'm gonna blow everything up. It's gonna look great. Well, hello there, yokels. What's with the long faces? I'm just here to pick up a friend. He's gotten stuck in here by mistake, you see. I'm not gonna do anything to hurt you. But I do have a lot of explosives that I wanted to. Why do you do such terrible things? You must not open this until everyone is one. No room for negotiation, then. Well, good thing I got 20 billion sticks of TNT. I was hoping this would go more smoothly, but oh well. If you don't move, I'm gonna make you. That's me. The king is scared of birds like you. My god, this place is creepy! The king asked, are you trying to break another egg? Wait, what was that last bit about another egg? It was probably nothing, I'm sure, I'm sure they meant nothing. The citizens who appear to have morphed into the king address me accusingly. What a mean thing to do. You break eggs and you think nothing of it. So many... So many eggs. I'm trying to make the world's biggest omelets. I am gonna solve world hunger with this omelet. But your but your omelet is being made with the with the children of a billion dead Ah oh god, I don't know. God, that depression bit really took it out of me. I need to end this soon. So I can go play pers more persona or something to make me feel better. What's that? Persona 3 is literally the worst game if you want to feel better about yourself. Shit, you're right. I wonder what the children inside were like. Those lives that couldn't live. No, I'm a pro-lifer. I'm not about this crap. Poor, poor... Wait, no. I'm not a pro-lifer. That's, oh, that's terrible. Don't ever be a pro-lifer. Pro-life... Pro-lifers are the worst. What I meant was pro-choice. I'm a sexy and suave pro-choice. Mm, yeah. Don't you feel sorry for them? No, not really. The king knows. The king knows that long ago, you broke an egg out of your own selfish selfishness. Ah, crap! My tragic past is coming back to haunt me. So this is how the king fights back? I don't know how he figured out my secrets, but in any case, it's a very precise attack. Not at all sexy. The king himself is on his throne. The citizens should just be small parts of the whole, but maybe they share his consciousness and abilities. This is my job! Blown up eggs. I'm here to rescue everyone from the school. You've trapped one inside this wall, so I'm breaking this wall. Any questions? That poor chick who could never hatch. Please try not to get distracted. My past has nothing to do with the fact that you're in my way. You poor, poor bird. The king thought you should not have to suffer anymore. You know what? Shut up! No, shut up! Sh shut up! Sh shut up! Shut up! Suddenly the king is carrying eggs and dropping them at my face. Ah, oh, that's gross. Ew, that's gross. No, you can't just- no! No, you think- you think you're gonna make me pro-choice like this? No, dickhead! No! No, no, no! I am more concerned with the mother's welfare than that of- than that of some unborn who doesn't even have a brain yet! Ugh! Before I know it, there's nowhere left to stand on with broken eggs. The king said the king can lift the burden from your shoulders. The king can take away your pain. So come be one with the king. Ah, oh, this place is gross. Oh, I'm way too high for this. I'm way too high for this. He's aware of the guilt I've carried with me ever since I broke my brother's egg. Did you have a third brother, or did, like, Sequoia come out weird because you fucked up? I don't know. But he seems to have misunderstood. Thanks, but no thanks. You're asking me to hand my guilt over to some complete stranger? Please tell me you're joking. It's not even a good joke. 
Ugh. The king said, do you like pain? Ah! Why, is that a come on? Are you into that kinky stuff? Mm. Yeah, I didn't think you would. I don't think you ever will. Like you said, I dirtied my hands with a crime, and I can never take it back. A life lost will never return. The past does not change. Well, there's your answer, I guess. At least I can, the least I can do is remember. I will always carry this with me. The pain is mine, and you can't have it. I'm not into that kinky stuff. I did not give my consent to you, King. You know well what it means to suffer, but if you break the king's egg, you will only suffer more. You making that up? I think you're making that up. I don't think you'll understand. This pain is part of me. You, your egg is already rotten and gross. And gr Have you seen your egg? Look at this. It's ill. Ew, this keg is messed up. Gross. Isn't that a little much for you to be asking me to accept your sympathy? Get the fuck out of here, stupid king. I don't like you. You're a huge wanker, king. The king's shadow disappears like morning fog in the sun. I can see the stairway to the bottom of the maze. A friendly and considerate man. I imagine an eternity spent with him would be full of happy days. Someone play the Happy Days song. I love that song. It's a great song. My sentimentality is dying down in contrast with the high from the drugs in my bloodstream. Oh, Christ, everyone, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm not bringing my A-game anymore. Look, like I said, that last bit just fucking pounded like a giant depression nail straight into my dick. I've got to, but I'm going to get through this. I'm going to get through this. I can do it. I'm great at video games. Wow, this picture book sucks. What a terrible picture. God, they couldn't even get the illustrations right. What a garbage picture book. Who commissioned this crap? Oh, it's scary and bloody red. Oh, I am so scared, video game. I am so scared. You lie to me. I'm not, I'm not scared. Video game, I'm not, I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I'm definitely not scared. I'm not scared at all. I'm pretty sh- Wait. Wait, are you saying the teacher did it? Are you saying the teacher was responsible for- I gotta go. Alright, guys, I gotta go. I gotta- No. I've had- I've had- I've had my fill for the moment. The video game is getting real, real quick. I, I gotta go. I gotta go.